Everybody, it's me, Pops Van Zant from the Madness Comic Network, and I want you to have a heads up and look out for our sign-up page for the Roku campaign on Kickstarter. We're going to be trying to get the funding to get the Roku channel set up for people like that guy, the guy who's recording this, can get his show up there on Roku and start getting monetization today. So check us out, sign up, be ready. Peace. coffee has mysteriously gone missing. Mayhem ensues when strange, coffee-craving zombies plague the city. Detective Mickey Potatoes, an overworked public servant, uncovers why ordinary citizens are losing their minds and how to stop the coffee apocalypse. But it involves the Mafia. And when you're dealing with Mafia crime families, nothing is ever easy. The Mafia controls everything in the city, including the police, including him. If he breaks the Mafia, they will break him. So, the city is without coffee. The city is burning before his very eyes, but he's powerless. Detective Potatoes has the power to stop the coffee apocalypse. But if he does, he could lose everything. Yo, it's me, Pops Fan Marmalade, and you're watching the Comics Related Madness Network. Uh huh. So come get some. Cromcon. Cromcon. Well, hello, everybody. It is not Tuesday. <laughs> Here I am on a Saturday um, wanting to talk to everybody and hang out. It's going to be a fun time. I don't know if you guys know what's about to happen, but I'm super excited to introduce you to someone who is amazing new talent. Um, kind of got bits and pieces of what she was doing on another show. And I am so looking forward to... Uh, hanging out with Sandy today. Um, I'd like to introduce everybody to Sandy Nepburn. Sandy, did I say your last name correctly? Yes, you said it perfectly. Hi, cool it's very nice to see you and meet you and all that. Absolutely. I know I was really looking forward to having you on my show. I couldn't believe, um, you know, when Pops was like, hey, we have this new talent. I wanted to show her off on the madness. Are you interested? I'm like, Ab absolutely. He sent me the video of you and I was like, absolutely. Please come on. Um, and my show is like booked out for like until October. 
So Pops was like, what about what about a weekend? And I'm like, I, I will make time so that way you and I can share the screen together and show off what you do because um, I'm, it's so cool. <laughs> That's so sweet. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Absolutely. So let me ask you this. What for everybody that's watching who has no idea what we're about to do, um, why don't you give them a, a little synops synopsis of who you are, what you do and how you started? Oh, wow. This is going to be interesting. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a ventriloquist and a musician. Yeah. apparently I'm a musician now. Oh, <laughs> it's exciting. Exciting. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm learning to sing and I play the guitar. Um, and I've got a podcast where I interview people with puppets, which um, I don't think very many people do, but um, <laughs> it's fun. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, that's me. So, how did you get started in this? In what ventriloquism? Oh, well, I've been interested in ventriloquism for as long as I can remember. My dad showed me Jeff Dunham when I was really little. Um, and I was just amazed by what he could do. Um, so uh, I, I wanted to try it and my parents let me do it. So I've been doing it since I was, well, seriously, since I was 10. But you know, it's always something I've played with. I have a question, can you see me? My light bulb just went out and now it's kind of dark. Like literally, I you okay? I think you're okay, hon. You're good, you're good. No worries. Um, so Jeff Dunham is an influence. Have you, it, anybody else like kind of, which one of Jeff Dunham's puppets is your favorite? Let me go that way. Oh, what are you kidding? Peanut. I, I, that's everyone's Peanut. favorite. Like, <laughs> yeah. And I gotta tell you, I know Jeff Dunham is like so funny, but when he has like puppet mishaps, <laughs> those are the funniest moments where he's like, you know, he always flinging Peanut around and like, I think it was like his whole, like his whole body flew off. <laughs> <laughs> it was like his whole body went and Jeff was like whoops like that was obviously not planned but like the interaction that happened between him and Pina after he picked him up was like the funniest thing so yeah, you know, you know I think the puppet mishaps are really funny but his ad libbing himself into a corner the way he you know gets around that that is just brilliant I, I can't even imagine how he does that so how many puppets do you have Okay, so this is interesting. There's a lot of them. There's a lot yeah. because yeah. I've gotten, I started out with the ones that I wanted to get that my parents got for me. And okay. then you know, there were a bunch of kids who, who were really into it for a period of time and then gave up on it. So then I inherited those puppets and I also make puppets. So there's like 20 or 30 of them all around the house. But there's five <laughs> that I mainly use. Uh, so, okay, you work on specific acts. I would assume with different characters. Which one is your like your go to? Um here, why don't I show you? Yes, yes, bring them out. <laughs> well, all right, I've got a few right here, but this is my girl. So oh my goodness, you just left me on the floor. She just left me on the floor. Hi, it, it's so nice. Hi. Hi. What is your name? I'm Annalyn. Annalyn? Yep, that's me. Hi Lori, it's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I'm so sorry you were on the floor, but we had to talk to Sandy for a minute to make sure that we got a nice intro. <laughs> but I was on the floor, Ellen. <laughs> but you're it's here with good. us now, and that is what matters. That is right? true, Ellen. I guess we'll talk about this later. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, how long have you? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, I was just saying. You know, yeah, this is my favorite. That one's your favorite? That's so now, is this one a purchase one or a made one? Yeah, she was a purchase one. She was my very first. Um, actually, well, I had one I was using. Uh, well, we, I just want you to know, we can't use the P word around her. She, the, 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 gotcha. The word. Yeah. We won't say uh, that word. No, I had Your another friend. friend, um, but she was a lot smaller and didn't have any legs. Um, and, um, <laughs> um, I got you, I got you. That was you know, a full body, um, cause that's how manipulate, I guess. Yeah. Um, so, uh, this was my first one that I started, you know, um, make, developing a voice, um, and she's, I do the podcast with her. She's the host. So, yeah, she's the host. That's Lynn. She's like, yes, I am. Yes, yes you are, Annalyn. 
I ask all the questions. It's all me. Of course. We know where their brains are, right? <laughs> Absolutely. All your mm -hmm. So the two of you together interview other puppeteers, or excuse me, other friends, other friend groups. I work hard not to I say that friends. P word. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh no, actually, I don't think I've interviewed another ventriloquist. That's interesting. So who um, do you interview on your podcast? I'm just curious. I interview just about anybody. Um, so I lately I've been doing a lot of musicians because I just I love music so much. Um, so that's where most of the interviews have been going. But I also do actors. I did one with a teacher. I've done so. Here, why don't I give you some of the names so you know? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I did two interviews with Air Supply. I don't know if you know Air Supply, but oh uh, yeah. Oh, good. Uh, so Graham Russell and Russell Hitchcock, who I got to meet, wow. and I saw them in concert recently. They're incredible. Um, they're awesome. They're awesome. Right? right. Uh, I just did one with Ryan Roxy, who is the guitarist for Alice Cooper. Um, I also spoke with Don Most, who you might know as Ralph Mouth on Happy Days. Yep. Uh, Chris Knight, who is Peter Brady on The Brady Bunch. You know, there's, awesome. a, there's a lot of people. Uh, I just, I love getting to ask people who have inspired me in any way about their lives. It's just incredible. That is such a great experience, and that is so awesome that you get to talk to these like big name people. That I is that was such an experience. It's, so, it's, I love it so much. So, <laughs> I have to know more. So, um, when you're practicing, how can I say this without the p word? When you're practicing with your friend, <laughs> do you um, do you do like live shows as well? Do you do like talent shows? What else are you doing? Um, so it's kind of interesting. So mostly what I do with them is my podcast. Um, I am i don't know a whole lot about writing comedy. <laughs> so uh, I find I'm at my best when I'm just going off the cuff, which is yeah. you know, where I get to exercise that when I'm doing um, those interviews. But um, every now and again, we'll go out and we'll sing something together. I just did a music convention a couple months ago where we uh, did some live performances singing. So that's pretty fun. You sing together? Well, she does most of the singing, but you know, every now and again, I'll throw in a line. Annalyn, would you like to sing us a song? Oh my goodness. Um, hmm, how can we do this? Hold on, I might have a backing track. Can you, is that okay with you? Can I pull yeah, that up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, okay. Where is it? Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Bear with me a moment here. Let's see if I can find something. Here, I'll do some dancing in between. Da, 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 da. Look at me, everybody. Da, 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 da. See if I move my hands real quick, uh, they disappear. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. No one's ever asked me to do this before, so um, I'm sorry I'm not prepared. Well, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. It's fine. <laughs> Take your time. Um, why don't we do? Why don't we do an air supply song? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully this all works out. Fingers crossed. And if not, we'll just pivot and we'll do something different. No big deal. <laughs> That's okay. We got a lot we can do. We'll figure right, it out. Right. Right. Okay. Video will play after ad. Come on. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> hey, folks. <laughs> how's it going? <laughs> it's always that way, honey. I okay. get you. Okay. Thank, thank goodness. <laughs> All right. We're going to try this out. <sighs> can you hear that? No, there you go. Go ahead. I was the lonely one Wondering what went wrong My love had gone And left me lonely I, I was so confused Feeling like I'd just been used Then you came to me and my loneliness left me I used to think I was tied to a heart That was the heartbreak But now that I found you Even the nights are better Now that we're here together Even the nights are better Since I found you Brighter. When someone you love stays 
applauding as well that was amazing Thank you, folks in the chat Thank Absolutely. You. <laughs> did you sing that for air supply when you had him on your show no i didn't i didn't even i couldn't even sing that yet um man oh, that would be so God. cool though i sang that um at the music convention i was doing um you know i i don't really go out and perform with them so everything i do is kind of just like you know in the moment and i had a wireless headset on and i don't think you know i might have done it with another friend um and i walked her out into the crowd to sing to a bunch of kids and then when we were finished the sound i was like yeah i didn't know what was gonna happen when you walked down into the crowd i'm so glad that warmed out uh, <laughs> uh, 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 that's awesome <laughs> hey gotta keep on their toes apparently so <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I gotta say, fabulous Dre de Brute, you have been dethroned from your singing uh, singing pedestal. You were here, <laughs> Sandy. Sandy knocked you down, man. Oh. Sandy, you are now the reigning singing uh, American Idol on my show. We'll just thank you, down. thank you. <laughs> I do some stuff on the guitar too. Just saying, everybody. Else. I mean, I mean. All right, we'll do that in a little bit. We'll do it in a little bit. So do you have any other friends that we can be introduced to? Yeah, I do. I have a few different ones here. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Annalyn. All right, let's see if we can get this going here. Come on. Hey, man. Wow, look at this. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Who are you, sir? I'm Vishnu. Hi. So nice to see everybody out there. Sandy, what is his name? Vishnu. Oh, wait. What is what is it? Vishnu. Isn't it weird? Vishnu? It's cool, right? It's awesome. Yeah, Vishnu. Vishnu. Is he a are Vishnu, are you a uh, parrot? Excuse me. A parrot? Toucan? A toucan. Toucan. I apologize. I wasn't sure. I see. You got the beak to prove it, sir. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> how yeah, old no. is Vishnu? How old is he? Gosh, I didn't think that one out. That's, you know what? People keep asking about the ages of these guys. All right, and well, Annalyn is your oldest, right? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were doing yeah. like developing the character age. So how long well, is he doing? Well, go off of that. He could be however old you make him, but. Yeah, I'm I know. Curious. It's terrifying, isn't it? Um, but I've had him. Um, gee, how long have I had him now? That's I think a great it's question. two years. So I how about I say, how long have you been friends? Okay, yeah. All right. I'm going to say, I think it's been two years. I won him um, from this guy. He's incredible. He makes these puppets. He's got a whole line of them. His wow. name is Steve Axtell, and he's got, he had the show on for a little while. 
where he would show everyone, you know, everything inside of where he creates these puppets and everything. Uh, and he was doing a giveaway for, you know, whoever was watching. And um, if you reposted that live stream, you would be entered into it. So I reposted and there were a ton of other people he called to win it, but they all had left by the time he was announcing it. So he got down to like the fifth person and he ended up being mine. You're like, I'm still here. I'm still here. Yeah, I'm still I would really, like really like a new friend. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I know. Oh, oh, no. That's okay. Vishnu wasn't listening. Yeah, I wasn't listening. I'm not really here. He's not really here. He's not really there. <laughs> so um, that would explain that. Absolutely. Friend. Friend. <laughs> well, Vishnu, what do you like to do? It sounds like Annalyn likes to sing. Do you tell jokes? Do you, what do you do? Um, what is your hidden talent? really chill, you know? I just kind of hang out and go with the flow, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> does, uh, does he get to interview people on your podcast? That's interesting. You know, I don't think I've used anybody. I mean, I don't think I've done it with anybody other than Anna Lynn. Um, but that would be a really good idea that would change the dynamic of a lot of interviews that's a fantastic idea i was just wondering also i was just curious do you ever have them talk to each other the the um friend the, the friend have... yeah. um annalyn and natalie do a song together <laughs> the duet one um i would sing it for you but i don't have anybody to press the play button <laughs> on, on the audio <laughs> Uh, but, you know, you're gonna have to start using your toes, sweetheart. <laughs> well, uh, right? It's a possibility. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, oh. That's so cool. Yes, that's so cool. They interviewed a friend. Yeah, that's you'll so have to wait and see. You'll have to wait and see. Where can I see that? I want to see that. That's so cool. Yeah, wait. Just hang on. Just hang on. <laughs> All right. So, anything that you would like to say to us, Vishnu? Um, uh, I my words with advice are just chill out, stay cool, man. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Upside down. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool, man. Being upside down. Hey, man. <laughs> what? Hey, man. Hey. Hey man. Oh, that's almost a Beatles song. Yeah. Hey dude. Hey dude. <laughs> that was great. Hey dude. That's so, uh, alteration. Just so you know, I write a comic book. This is my main character on my shirt. And his name is Jude. That's so cool. Oh my yeah, god. Jude. Oh, that's so neat. So I love that song when everybody sings Hey Jude. I'm like, I perk up. I'm like, hello. <laughs> Are you talking to me? No? Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Wait, I want to hear about Jude. What's he like? Jude? Yeah, Jude St. Clair me. is a cowboy in the apocalypse looking for the answer to what broke death. So in my comic book, uh, people don't die the right way. Their body dies, but their soul doesn't leave. And oh so like peoples and animals and insects are all kind of stuck together. And it's pretty gross. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. So we have a fun time. It's just, it's comic books right now. What, what, what? What is Path of the Pale Rider anyway? Is it a comic book? No, that's not it. Is it this? Heck is Path of the Pale Rider, man. There's no way this is right. How about this? We have no idea. We rob a bank. Oh, it's this. That's so me. cool. <laughs> that's 
was so cool. I wasn't expecting pop. So he was like in the background going like, wait, 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 stop talking. I'll play the thing. And I was like, what? And he was like, push the button. <laughs> That's so funny. I always watch to see what people think when I get like run over by the car. <laughs> That's such an odd sentence. I know, <laughs> isn't it? I'm uh, all... <laughs> when I was filming it, Sandy, I put a post on my social media that was like, about to go get hit by a car today. Wish me luck. And my mom was like, excuse me? <laughs> I was oh like, don't God. worry, mom. I'll be safe. She's like, please don't do this. <laughs> I'm about to go get run over by a car, but I'll be safe. Don't worry about it. You're right, right. That's what it sounded like. I was like, I promise you, it's all movie magic. We're filming it in a way where it's completely safe. Look who it is. Funny. Hey. Hi, Chris. I saw him today. Chris oh, well, hi. is the hi. owner of uh, Pastime Comics in Fort Worth and also one of the CEOs of Charter Comics, who is my publisher. And I picked up my books today. But enough about me. Back to Sandy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Moving on. <laughs> I was like, this wasn't supposed to be special edition about Lori. It's special edition about Sandy. So we will. Well, we all want to hear about you. No, they can hear about me every Tuesday. She asked, and you. I was like, man, let's I just did. show her the trailer. She'll love it. And she did. I was. <laughs> Do you know why his name is Pops? What's that? What did you say? Do you know why Pops' name is Pops? No, I don't tell, please. Because he pops in and he says something and then pops out. Seriously? That's so funny. No, that's like, not a lie, but that's what we Really? Say. Oh, I was really hoping that it was funny. <laughs> so you have another friend to show us? Yes, I have I have one more here. Let's see. Let's see. I'm ready. Hi there. It, it's so nice to see everybody. Hi, my name is Natalie. Hi, Natalie. Nice to meet you. Hi, it's so nice to meet you, too. Are you a princess? Yes, of course. I, I am the princess. Oh, beautiful hair, by the way. <laughs> Thank what, you. What is your organ on it? <laughs> What's the name of your kingdom? Where are you from? Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> um, 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 what? <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm not from a kingdom. I'm from a, a a planet. Um, I'm from Planet Nilnak. <laughs> that might be copyrighted a little bit. But <laughs> <laughs> Let's play that later. We'll just pretend. Yeah, it's good. It's... <laughs> uh, and Natalie, how old are you? How long have you been friends with Sandy? Um, gee, um, that's a hard question. Um. So I got her a couple months after I got Anna Lynn, and I was 10, so about five, oh. Oh, about five years. I see. Yeah. Yes. That's a long time to be friends. That's a long time. Yes, it is. It's been fantastic. I love it here. So, Natalie, are you friends with Anna Lynn? Well, you know, I really like Anna Lynn, but I don't think she likes me very much. How come? Because Anna Lynn doesn't like anybody. What? No, she's she's not very friendly. I don't, you know. But I, I like her, I think. I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <sighs> so I heard you guys sing a song together. What's the name of the song? We do? What song? Oh, oh the Anna Lynn and Natalie. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> You're like, we do? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I guess we do. Um, It's called the Cup Song. The Cup Song? Yeah, by Anna Kendrick. Oh, okay. I like that song. Me too. I think I do it pretty well. I I, I lead that whole thing. My vocals you are Anna Lynn doesn't pull her weight. She just no, kind of... She's just, you know, back up vocals. Hi, hi. Can someone say hi to me? Hi here. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Tell us a joke. A joke? Oh my goodness! I don't know. I'm just throwing anything at you, Sandy. You do what you want. <laughs> well, I I don't really, I don't tell jokes. I I oh no! She she's asking me to do things nobody's ever asked before. I have to come up with a whole list of jokes. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, what about this? Why don't Natalie you ask me a question? 
Okay, I want to know when you started this whole interviewing th thing. Tell me all about it. I want to hear everything. About what? When I started what? Interviewing. We want to hear oh, about interviewing. So it's a funny story. Um, I started making comic books back in 2020 during the pandemic and then eventually published. It took a long time because the pandemic was really tough on everybody. And then um, last year... I met a lot of people in the indie community and the Madness Network kind of took me in and I became a regular on the show called the Tuesday Morning Brew, uh, which was Pop's show. And there was a bunch of people that would come on as a panel Oh, wow. and I was part of the panel. And eventually Pop said, I'm too busy. I can't run all these shows by myself. Lori, would you like to take over the Tuesday Morning Brew? And I said, yeah, I think I would. So I started interviewing people on my show um, instead of having the crazy panel where everybody just like talked about, I don't know, the weather. Um, but it was really fun to give people a spotlight. And I got to learn about what other indie comic book creators were doing and like um, new things. And um, we have veterans. We have, uh, you know, people that are just starting out. So everybody deserves a chance to get up and tell people about their comic. And um, so that's what I, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy talking to just about anybody who wants to come on the show and learning about what they do. Um, do you mind, Sandy, if I ask you a couple questions more? Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to put you down, okay? No, don't put me down. I got to put you down. I'm sorry. So when you decided to get into ventriloquism, did you take classes? Like, how do you practice that? That seems like a skill that I could never master. Um, anybody can do ventriloquism. Um, I didn't take classes. Um, I think I had such a strong interest in it for so long. I kind of had this thing in the back of my head saying, well, you know, look, look at what Jeff Dunham is doing there. And, you know, I, I think I could do that same thing. And then, you know, with practice, I learned how to keep my, my lips still and get the sounds out. And then I started to develop my own, um, gee, what would you call that? I guess my own method of doing it, um, which I haven't yeah. seen many other people doing. Um, but I think it makes it look pretty cool. You look fabulous doing it. Um, I can't tell that, you know, you're not moving your mouth at all. Um, oh. I love when, when you were singing with Anna Lynn, how she would like nestle up into you and like you would react <laughs> to her and stuff like that. That makes it so much more you know what i mean than just um focusing on the friend um i think the two of you uh having that kind of interaction while you're singing it just takes it to the next level so that was really cool um so i enjoyed i enjoyed that so much it was such a cool thing to watch <laughs> you liked it oh that makes sense. Um, so what do you what do you plan on doing besides I mean, with this, what's, what do you, where's it going for you? What are you thinking? With the ventriloquism aspect? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm just taking it as it all comes. Um, I, again, I've just been really enjoying doing all the interviews and stuff. Um, yeah. Obviously, wherever I can expand, you know, with singing or even learning any comedy, of course, I want to take that all in. Uh, but, you know, mm. uh, again, I'm just working out of my basement here. So I'm still trying to figure it all out. What state are you in? New York, Long Island. Oh, New York. I was going to say, you have a basement, so you must be in the northwest somewhere, or northeast somewhere, excuse me. Um, I'm in Texas, and we don't have basements. It's very Why sad. Not? Why is that? Um, because it's a lot of clay, and the, the earth well, shifts a this. lot. So they can't dig down and pour concrete because it'll crack, it'll shift. They can't do it. So it's weird. Um, I lived in Michigan for a long time and had a basement always growing up and then moved to Texas. I'm like, what do you mean there's no basements here? <laughs> oh, Where am I going to put all my stuff? Cool. Huh? That's pretty cool. It's different, right? That's neat. So your friends all live in your basement? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they do in different parts of the basement. And that's where they all live. <laughs> Oh, um, someone asked, how many famous people do you have friends for? Oh, so I've made a lot of puppets of people for those people. And I have very few really? that I've actually kept. 
So is that referring to the ones that I've made and given away or the ones that I've made and kept? That's a good question. What are you, what are you thinking there? Tell. Tell me all. Give us all. Oh, tell all. Everyone. So you, okay. Yeah, yeah. Tell us some of your famous puppets. Okay, so I started out making puppets um because i want <laughs> i'm a really big fan of the monkeys and i would have the given monkeys? The, the monkeys you know the, the band yes <laughs> yeah i know who the monkeys are girl <laughs> oh I, that's who? like my time period that that's kind of where i live you know hey, somewhere hey, where the monkeys yes, super right? cool parents Lori. yes i was gonna say cool your parents, parents have done something right if you know who the monkeys are oh do it do it <laughs> yes. I, 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 do I know any monkeys? I must know some monkey songs. I don't remember the words. I'm a tiny That's me. <laughs> well, <laughs> Perhaps we oh. didn't even understand you. Come back. Did he say something? He did. He popped in. He said something and disappeared. To put anybody down. Yeah, we know. Du, 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 du. Hey, 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 we're the monkeys. Yeah, I got you. All right. Oh, so oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm a really big fan of. Where's the record go? Where's the record? There's the record. The monkey oh, records. Yes, I do. Yeah, you were born in the wrong time. I tell you. <laughs> well, I, I'm enjoying it. There's a lot of kids that don't know the stuff I know. And if I right. can reach them and show them those things, I'd like to. Um, I'll tell you more about oh, that man. later. Um, yes, yes. But back to the puppets. So I'm yes. a really big fan of the monkeys. And I would have given anything for either Mickey Dolans or at the time Michael Nesmith to, to have known who I was. And I was so ecstatic. I was going to go see them on their farewell tour. And Dad said why don't you make a puppet of Mickey or Nez? And I said, Dad, I don't know how to make puppets. And he said, all right, if you say you don't know how to do it, I guess you just don't know how to do it. And I cannot stand that. So right. I went and I learned how to make puppets. Um, mm -hmm. And I made my first one was Michael Nesmith. And then I made him. I got the attention of Mickey's PR person. And she said, hey, you know, tomorrow Mickey's going to be in New York City. You want to come meet him? And then I got to meet him the next day. And wow. realized I had to make a Mickey puppet. So then I made a puppet of Mickey who's all signed and everything. It's so exciting. So he got cool. to see him. Um, but back to your question, who else have I made puppets of? Uh, so I have all four monkeys because if I made two, I had to make, you know, the rest all of them. Yeah, you have to. You cannot. You cannot just make half the group. That's blasphemy. Is, is the Davy um, Jones puppet little? Is, is the how big Davy are the Jones puppets puppet that you're little? making? How big are they? Can you hang on a oh, second? No. Yeah, I yeah, just we can hang on. I know if Davy is littler than the other three. Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> he is. I actually made sure to do that. Not by a lot, but he is. Hang on, I'll show you one. Yes, yes. Enjoy all the records in the background as I go yeah, back. Yeah, we're the monkeys. This is so it's much so fun. I'm just sitting world. here laughing and da, having a great da, da, time. Da, da, if you're da, missing this too. show, you're missing. I'm just. Whoa, he's a big puppet. He is really big. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing, so I just went for it. Um, So this is the first one that I made. Um, Got the hat. <laughs> you. Um. So I, I make a lot of videos with them, too, so they had to, you know, look correct. Um, but who yeah. else have I made? Um, I made Dude. Brian May okay. of Queen, because that is one of my favorite guitarists in the whole world. Um, pretty much my biggest guitar inspiration. Um, I named my guitar Brian, and my, oh. <laughs> my guitar strap says Queen Sandy, because I couldn't decide... Whether or not I wanted it to say Queen, like the band, or Sandy, like me. Um, but Queen's again, me. back to That's your cool question. World. Great, great. <laughs> oh, yes, I mix them together. Um, yeah. So I think those, I think that's everyone I've made that I kept. But I also made puppets for all of these guys in here. 
Um, uh, so I made one for Wayne, John, Alex, Rich, Coco, um, and Mickey and Donna. And I got to give it to them um, very recently, which is so cool. Wow. Um, I made a, a Graham and a Russell for Air Supply and one for Carrie, too, which is Russell's wife. And oh. my most recent... I- Am I getting everyone? I think I hit everyone so far. Um, and my most recent was for my friend Jeff Young, um, of now Kings of Thrash, but he was the guitarist for Megadeth. Uh, and I just got to see him last week. Is that last week? Yeah. Um, and I, I gave him a Jeff puppet. Girl, that's insane. <laughs> it's so much fun. All of these like major musical influences, and you made them puppets. And they have them. That's we are going to need an Alice Cooper puppet. Alice Cooper? Wouldn't that be Ozzy cool? Osbourne? We are going to need an Alice Cooper puppet. We're just It's just going to have to happen, Sandy. Um, well, why Alice Cooper specifically? Because um, like, he is just the, the epitome of theatrics in music. I mean, he is pretty oh, theatrical, yeah. You know, Wouldn't that be really cool? His shows were always beyond a rock show. Well, yeah, the first one to make a show that was beyond a rock show. Oh, so, okay, I understand. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. That's that's a great idea. Yes. Yes. Look, we'll make sure he sees it. I promise you, he does. Can you? Can you make a, a Jeff Durham puppet? A Jeff Dunham puppet? Yeah, that's what I meant. John Dunham. Sorry. It's okay. Um, no, I haven't. I was just curious. You could have a friend off. <laughs> <laughs> like the dueling banjos you could have dueling friends that would be awesome so we can use the p word when they're not here oh that's right they're not around so yeah i just want to say friend all the time because i'm going to forget and say it when there's a friend out and uh i'll mm-hmm. say the p word and um make someone upset which i don't want to do no i understand that i have to deal with that all the time <laughs> um yeah, but you know, um, we we try our best to refer to them as friends. My podcast or Annalyn's podcast is called the Sandy and Friends podcast. Right. So you know, not to be offensive. <laughs> right. Look, people, this is Sandy's YouTube. Um, go subscribe so you can follow along with some of the very cool thing that she's you know things that she's doing and people that she's interviewing. It's just amazing, amazing. Oh, thank amazing. you so much. Oh, yeah. we're talking about social media. Can I can I plug something here? Absolutely. Plug oh, away. Okay. So here, let me show you. Let's see if I can get the page up. Oh no, I'm back at the karaoke. Okay. This right here. Is that backwards? Can you see that? Is that your face? Okay. It's called Souls on Eleven. So I um Jeff Young and I uh oh my battery is running low. Jeff oh. Young and I have a duo now and it's called souls on 11 and um we're we're putting some pretty groovy stuff together and i think Whoa. everyone should go and like that page on facebook um, pops, you can go find it <laughs> <laughs> pops we got work for you to do go find the thing so we could share it in the socials yeah come on get it it's on my I facebook page. So if you just scroll down you should be able to find it um but we're we're putting some cool stuff together and we're working on some performances uh after we met at the music convention we were just kind of inseparable for that weekend um and we we played three songs at a karaoke event and everyone went crazy and they all got up and and they clapped for us on their feet and um so now we decided we have to continue this and everyone's got to see what we're doing in our little retro world yeah yeah absolutely i need to see i need to go follow this too I'm oh, like, I really kind of follow. I did get um, to see Sandy and Jeff play some Led Zeppelin. I think it was the the video of the first time you played it with him. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been looking. I've been watching. Don't worry, girl. I know who I bring on the show. <laughs> Led Zeppelin yeah. is one of my favorites too. That's so awesome. That was. Um, I think the video he was referring to is probably. The first time that we played it together, which was the first time that I sang that song, he um yeah. he ran over to my table after we were just talking for a little bit and picked up my guitar, and he started to play "Over the Hills and Far Away," and he said, "You know how to sing it," and I said, "A little bit," which was totally not true. I've never sang that song in my life. <laughs> and he got, to, he got to the um here. Let me show Thank you until you make it. 
Yeah, apparently so, and it worked out. He got to the, um... amazement of the fact i don't know i guess that i was i don't know he's hitting the notes <laughs> i'm not sure i was pretty amazed that i hit him too considering i'd never sung it before um <laughs> but it was wild and then you like are you surprised because i'm surprised too it's okay we're both surprised right now <laughs> <laughs> precisely <laughs> you are so awesome at that guitar um how long have I you been playing guitar so, or before I, what's that oh go ahead go ahead go ahead oh okay um so i got this guy when i was 12 and i was you know kind of strumming along but not i didn't really start taking it seriously as something i wanted to learn and actually get into until about a year ago uh maybe a year and a half ago now uh that i started taking guitar lessons with the greatest yeah, music yeah. teacher in the entire world um and um i had no intentions of learning to sing but um i guess it just kind of happened <laughs> we're a natural at it you are a oh, natural so um my mom is a vocal instructor and has been for a long 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 time so you're like i'm kind of i sing now i'm like no you sing you <laughs> sing real well um you're just a natural so that's amazing um oh. the things you can do with your voice and your music uh just amazing and i'm so glad i had the chance to to talk to you my goodness hey what's up people are tuning in hello everybody we got people on twitch we got people on youtube wow look wow. at this. people this is cool <clears throat> hi folks yeah. i'm 15 to answer your question <laughs> yes and he's 15. that's me and going places like six you're 15 going on 25. I don't know. Well, that's so sweet. Oh, <laughs> so much. Wow. So, what was I going to ask you? Oh, I was waiting for our special, another special guest to show up, but he's not in the backstage yet. Because remember, we have a surprise for you. So at some point, hopefully they'll come in. Um, oh, I wanted, I wanted to ask you about the puppet making. That's really interesting to me. How long does it take you to make a puppet? Um, so it depends upon how long <laughs> I work a day, you know, um, it depends upon what I'm, I'm doing that day. Um, the last one I made, I just, I wanted to get it done and perfect. So I, cause I, I started it, um, like two weeks before, um, I was going to go give it to him. So, um, I think I got that done in about a week. Um, so most of the time if i'm really working on it it takes like yeah about a week to 10 days that's actually that's not that long but you must be doing a heck of a lot of work on it for pete's sakes right yeah it's hours it's, and hours um i um i think i'm getting faster at it now that i when i yeah. made the puppets for the monkeys band yeah, um, I was doing eight of them all at once because I wanted to make sure that I had them done in time to give them all of their puppets at once. Right. Um, so uh, it was it was a lot every day, but I wanted to make sure I had it good. So I think my sewing has gotten better because of that. Yeah, yeah. No one's so ever taught me how to clothes? sew. What's sew that? the clothes? Um, it depends. Uh, for most of the time, I don't because I don't know anything about sewing clothes. Um, I made a shirt for the last one I did. I was really proud of that. <laughs> but most of the time, uh, I'll just go to like, you know, a thrift shop or something. Yeah, okay. And then how, how are you constructing the head? Because that's the most important part, right? Yeah, I, I would say so. Um, it, uh, I think I followed the same basic format um, of just building a kind of triangular shape for the front of it. So uh -huh. the fabric comes around and gives it kind of dimension. Um, so the structure of the head itself typically stays the same. It's the facial features that um, make it who it really is supposed to be. Right. And 
for the most part, it's just the mouth that moves, or are you making other things that could move? Actually, I don't know how to do that yet. I just know how to make the mouth move, but wouldn't that be so cool? I really want to learn. I'm like, I don't know how to do that either. I was like, I don't know how complicated that is. Um, it sounds complicated. That's why I was like, are you just, because for me, I'm like, that's all I could manage is this, <laughs> right? Um, oh, wouldn't that be so awesome? I would love, I'd love to learn how to construct um, like blinking eyes or eyebrows. Yeah. That would be so cool. Does Jeff have puppets that do that? Yeah, um, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Doesn't his, the jalapeno on a stick do that? Like his eyes move and his mouth moves, right? I think his jalapeno on a stick. eyes and eyebrows go. That's right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I love that puppet. He's hilarious. Yeah, I, I love them. They're awesome. So let's see. What else would you like to do for us to perform? Anything else that you would like to do? Gee, I don't know. Um, Show off? How do you I find the know. time with school and all? That's a great question. Well, um, I... It's interesting. <laughs> um, yeah. Obviously, school comes for everything, and I got to get all that work done, um, and I do it well. But as soon as I come home, I <laughs> sit down, get all my homework out of the oh, way, right. and then I spend the rest of the day. Um, lately, it's been on the guitar, but I know, you know, if I have a puppet I have to make for someone, or obviously want to make for someone, yeah. then my thing goes there. But um, lately, it's been a lot of music. Cause that's really what I've been just loving every ounce of everything I can learn. And you know, that's all I want to do. That's awesome. That, yeah. So basically you have to do school first. That's how my parents always were too. school first. School's the most important. Anything else you want to do has to come after that. Yep. But you yeah. know, when I have downtime in school, like in study hall, um, I last year was, uh, I'm, I'm still learning how to do it, but, you know, I'm writing songs every now and again. So I'll sit Whoa. and I'll think, of, you know, how would that sound? Let me write down the fret numbers when I get home. Well, let's see what I can do with that. Or, you know, just poetry or anything that I can put together. Um, Here's another really great question. So how much of an influence did your parents have on the ventriloquism and the puppets and the shows, music, all of it? Well, with ventriloquism, uh, again, my dad was the one who introduced me to Jeff Dunham. Actually, it yeah. started out just watching the Flintstones and really? and Barney Rubble. There was an episode where he had learned ventriloquism, and I looked up at dad and I said, "That's not real. No one can do that." And he said, "No, that's real." And that's when he dug up uh, Jeff Dunham. He found a bunch of videos, um, and uh, that's when I was, just, you know, in awe of what he was doing. Um, so that's really where it started. And then it just never stopped. Um, and mm -hmm. they've been so great about getting me the puppets that I want and all that and encouraging the podcast and everything, um, for the music stuff. Um, I, my, my dad was the one who, uh, got me to, to play the guitar. He told me, uh, he, I could play very few things. I could play little melodies and things that I could pull out just by listening to it. Um, but I couldn't play anything that was significant to me. And then he showed me the song Stairway to Heaven. And he said, I bet you could do that. Yeah. I was like, no, I can't. And, and he again pulled that same, well, if you say you can't, then I guess you can't on me. And then I had to learn it. And once I <laughs> learned it, <laughs> yeah, I your dad throws down the gauntlet. Like, that's fine. If you say you can't do it. Every time it kills. And that's me too. That's me too, Sandy, where I was like, I'll show you. <laughs> oh, good. You know, you what? Mm -hmm. I'll show you. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Um, but yeah, him him telling me I couldn't do it. I think he knew that that was going to be my reaction. Um, but it's become a lot more prominent in my life in the last few years with uh, being introduced to new music. Well, I guess not really new music, but new to me. Yeah. Um, classic rock is something that's always been played in my house. So I guess that's probably. Uh oh, I think her battery died. Oh, her battery no, was not low. Not the battery. Not I the know. battery. <laughs> I think it's dead. <laughs> This has been absolutely one of my favorite shows all year. I was having such a good time. I had I like 15 more questions I wanted to ask her. <laughs> we might look, we we might schedule a part 2. Yeah. 
We, we should do that. We didn't even get our special guest to come on with Sandy. That yeah. would have been a that would have been so cool. Well, if that was a time zone mis mishap because they said about three, and that would be about four his time, which means he would just now be getting around and set up for it if it was a time zone thing. Um, Maybe I don't know. I, I've well, people, to him unfortunately, we lost. Stuff. We lost Sandy, um, but um, oh my gosh, so interesting what she's doing, um, she, and all she, all the music influences that she's talked to, just amazing. Um, she's now, she's if gonna, Dad is watching, Dad. Yeah, Dad, if you're watching, we can send the link to her phone, and she can pop back out here if she wants to, or we can schedule a part two. We Either can schedule way, a part two very easily. This was fun. So, I don't. I don't want people to miss out. We still have more. <laughs> yeah, like we're not done. Oh, wait. She, she's coming back. She plugged it in. She plugged it in. <laughs> Come on, Sandy. You can do it. Come on. coming. Come on. She's coming. <laughs> Maybe. 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 So anyway. Yeah. Um. I want to see more of the friends. I would oh, love it. Oh, is. there she is. Oh, she's back. Oh, and then she ran away. Come back. You hit it. Come back. Okay. Yay! <laughs> I can't hear. Oh, wait. Let me. You are muted. You got to unmute. Wow, that was huh? interesting. Yeah, that hey. was, that was yes, Sandy's back. Everybody's cheering. <laughs> I'm here. Um, I'm all plugged in. So how did I die? It must not <laughs> have been all the way. I don't know. It happens. We were like, I, oh, I there was the computer. That. I can explain that. We have we have a a what what we call an internet troll. His name is Crom. Crom did it. Okay. What? He he's our internet troll. He is the mascot of the comic related madness. He's our dude, but he is an internet troll, and sometimes he messes with people's electronics. I'm just saying, you know. So anything that ever goes wrong with your electronic device, Crom did it. Oh look, it's Jeff. Hey Jeff. Hey Jeff. We'll have to oh, do. Like, we'll have to. Yeah. Make it get in the house, yo. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. Hello, sir. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> I'm so glad he's here. Did you hear us talking about you before? I hope so. I know his Thank ears must have been burning where he was like, who, what? I'm doing what now? <laughs> Souls on 11. We're saying it one more time. Souls on 11. Facebook. We'll be there for sure. We'll be watching. Really? 100%. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm back. You know, that was really frightening for a moment. Um. <laughs> I know. There's always a moment of panic. Like, uh, what just happened? You know? You you can send Jeff the link if you'd like. Oh, does Jeff want to come on? Jeff, do you want to come on? If Jeff wants to come on, I will just mute myself and get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Let you guys do your thing. Tell us. <laughs> I don't want to put him on the spot or anything. So I know. I mean... It's totally up to you, Jeff. No pressure. Because a lot of times people are like out and about and they're watching like on their phone or their mobile or whatever. Very Right. Because I'm always like, people are like, hey, Lori, come on the show. I'm like, I am literally sitting as a passenger in a car with my entire family and the dog is on my lap. Like, I'm not coming on the show. <laughs> oh, the dog's on your lap? That's cool. Well, in the car. Like, uh, not right now. Like, when I interview people, I make sure I'm by myself. There's no chaos in the background. But, like, my house. Oh, my God. Chaos. I hope I wasn't supposed to, you know, stay up to that st same standard of no chaos. I think uh, I already blew that. <laughs> I think that, see, Jeff said, I'm out and about watching on myself. See, I called it. <laughs> it's all right, dude. It's all right. We'll it's catch okay. you another time. It's okay. You're welcome anytime. We're obviously going to have Sandy out again. This has been amazing show yeah, i want sandy to interview me yeah. on her show can we set that up i would love to come on your show and talk about comics and just being I'd creative <laughs> what's that i'd i'd love to ask you about it so you're more than welcome yes yes i would love to come on your show. yes i would love to hear you guys play live that would be so I'd cool be 
And like I said, I'll just mute myself and sing in the background where no one can hear me. <laughs> right? That would be awesome. I would happily host you guys just to come on. I'll be like, hey, I'm Lori. This is what I do. I'll shut up now. It's all about you guys. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Cool. Absolutely. So do you want to do more friend stuff? More friend stuff? I don't know what I can do without... I'm on a new device now, so... Oh, okay. My songs. I really should have thought this out better, shouldn't I? Um, I can that's play... Right. I didn't know. We didn't, like, send you talking points or anything, so that's on us. <laughs> I was like, I just want to, like, go off the cuff and see what happens, because this sounds like it's going to be fun. <laughs> I think it's been fun. Um, I can give you some guitar stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let's do some more of that. I love hearing <laughs> people play music um, and just... I love music. I really do. I play the cello. Really? Wait, tell me about that. I want to hear about that. I don't have it upstairs in my studio, but I started playing the cello when I was in fourth grade and I actually played all the way through college. Um, I was in a full orchestra. I played in string quartets. I have an electric cello that I can play Metallica songs on my cello. <laughs> Oh, no, so no, cool. no, no. Oh, oh, we're, we're, this is a, this is a, this is happening. You, Jeff, Sandy, we're going to play some Megadeth. I, I am, Sandy, I am so out of practice. I, there's no way I'm going to bring my cello and hang out with two professional musicians and just be like, I can play four strings right now. Like, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. I can't improvise. None That's of all it, any bassist does. Come on. A bassist well, does actually do quite a bit, Pops. Don't knock them down. <laughs> I have an electric bass that I dabble. Oh, I can play. Um, I did learn how to play a little bit of Stairway to Heaven on the oh, cello. I can do that a little bit. <laughs> right? We've had this conversation. Where is my pick? I had two picks here because I didn't want to drop it. Hang on a moment. Check out the wall. <laughs> we need to put some kind of art on your wall. Here we go. Yeah, we gotta get her. We gotta get her some killer comic art. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll send you a poster for your background. Wait, I got one like, more question. Every time you get up, you're like, don't mind me. Just look at this poster of Path of the Pale Rider. I'll be right back. I got a question for you that has to do with album covers and art. What is your favorite album cover art? Oh, album cover? One. No one's ever asked me that before. Gee, I've never thought about it. Um, That's Gosh, really I hard. Put you on the spot. I'm so sorry. Is there anything cool back here? Well, I mean, physical graffiti is obviously great. Um, I mean, um, Pink Floyd's got a lot of really cool covers, physical right? Physical graffiti is great. Oh, I love that yeah. one. That one's I, great. There's a couple of them she has behind her that are really cool. The Sticks one, yeah. the physical graffiti. Um, uh, I like Yes covers. Jeff like, is like asking if you can play the one. Bread song. Oh, do you know I a guess? Bread song? Yeah, I do. That's funny. that. Yeah, I can do that. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. I'm hey, have you ever tried? And they're reaching out for the other side. I'm climbing on rainbows, but they go. Dreams, they're those who sleep. Night is forced to and wondering what this song is leading to. I'd like to make it with you. I'll be singing if we can make it better. Now, you don't know me too well. Everything only time will tell. And if you believe the things that I do, then what's it's true? I am so glad to be short of love. 
Right, you need to wear shades, girl. Yeah, um, yeah. you are so talented. Get some cool so ones talented. like them round ones that John Lennon used to wear. See, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you. We need to screenshot this. Wait, wait, get me the heck out of here. <laughs> um, uh, how much? Yeah, <laughs> amazing, amazing. So bright, you gotta wear shades. Like, yeah, I, I am so looking forward to following you, girl, and watching you grow. And if you're this good now, I can only imagine uh, where you're going to be in a few years. Your music is very, very good. Um, and like I said, you are a natural, natural talent at singing. Um, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. And the, and the friends, they are so amazing. And I, I can't believe you make puppets and that you do all of this stuff. And go to school. Um, <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> right, yeah, right. You're like, I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. I don't have time. Um, <laughs> I just hope that you continue everything um, and that, you know, nobody leads you astray. And if they do, I will come run them over with my car. Um, <laughs> I have sorry, to not a, sorry. I, I have to throw a thank you out here to Ben and Jeff. And Leo and your father for letting yeah. you for, for introducing oh, me to you first off, and for your dad for allowing you to come out on the show. You know, hey, if I was a parent, somebody's hitting up my daughter, but I'd be like, hey, who the hell is this guy? You know, yeah, but um, <laughs> you're with me. You're with me. You're with me. You're not with any of the other weirdos on the madness. Just kidding. We love you, everybody on the madness. <laughs> um, Jeff, I also made you a, a moderator on the channel, so you can drop links to anything you got. Going going on as well okay that's oh, part wow. of what we have this is a network okay this network. is what we do okay Cross we promote. network everything comics everything it's for all the stuff we love man and music right. and comics and all this is all part of it so uh well, anytime you want to come out i don't know jeff if you're into comics or not but that's kind of where our main thing is i but, would love uh, to send you a comic i'm just saying oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'd love to see it. And and we definitely yeah. look, Lori. You you definitely get these two, get Jeff and Sandy out here again sometime in the near future. Yeah, you yeah, know, absolutely. It would be so much fun, man, to, to to actually have them on the show and have them play something together. That because I've seen them play stuff together, so I already know what it's about. But you know, um, and Jeff, you want to come out and talk about Souls at Eleven and stuff? You. Dude, like I said, if you guys want to come back on and play music, I will just be like, hi, my name's Lori. This is what I do. And I will just mute myself and put myself in the back and be like, take it away. Um, which, I just want to watch and enjoy and have a good time. Oh, like Pops. He pops in. He pops out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, I think yeah. we both love doing it. So am I. I really hope that we get to do that. That would be so much fun. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And thank you, Jeff. Yeah, um, I worked really hard. Um, it's different. If anybody is interested in signing up for the pre-launch for my next issue, um, here is the link. It takes you to a Kickstarter page. And uh, there's, it's not active yet. You just push a green button and um, you'll be notified when we launch. But we do, as you kind of saw in the ad, we do comic books. Um, we do short films, which are a lot of fun. And the fans can be in them. Don's been in it. Uh, Pops has been in it. Um, Doc has been in them. A ton of the fans get to participate, which is so much fun. And then I also run riddles. So every back cover of the comic is a riddle that you can solve. Hello, Vic. Hello. Sorry. Um, so the back covers are all these like really cool. What? We're going to have to reschedule the other thing too. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. I figured at um, this point. I just, I just heard happen. from RJ and he's like, I'm still an hour away from home. I got him out ready and I was totally ready to go, but I'm still an hour away from home. So we're going to have we're definitely gonna have more a part shows two. with you, Sandy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Don, at least you didn't call oh, him me, Paul. And this is another this is another youngster, 15-year-old artist that's that's trying to break into comics um, with uh, the Silver Line crew. See, so we promote the youngsters coming up. We oh, look yeah. if there is not a next generation of cool, then what are we doing? <laughs> it'll, it'll die with us. There's gotta no, be no, 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 right? no, no, so, no, no. There'll be no dying with us. This is <laughs> so we encourage, we encourage Sandy, Vic, the youngsters that are coming up, Nander. There are a Tentful. bunch of really cool youngsters that are coming up in all of the things we love. Rocky, come here. You got something to say? Oh, come wait. Here. What? Say hi, oh, Sandy. crap. They're both down here. Somehow they got together. I, I, I'll be right back. <laughs> What, what just happened? Um, Pops has two huskies. Two huskies. One is a male, one is a female, and they're not fixed. So oh. there's times when they can't be together, and now is one of those times. <laughs> That's where he's like, I'll be right back. <laughs> Otherwise, okay. we've been having we're gonna have some puppies up in his basement. So we don't want okay. right, okay. no puppies. <laughs> I'm, I really want to know what it what surprise you had for me that didn't happen. Oh, I'm not going to spoil it because we'll do it next time. So you'll just have to be in suspense so you come back. I'm going to have to wait. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm so terrible. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> well, no, right, I won't then. tell you. No, no, I won't tell you. Why not? Why not? Oh, come because on. Because we're going to do it next time, and I want to see your expression when it happens. <laughs> okay, then. It's all good stuff. Don't worry. We wouldn't do anything to you that was bad. We, we love you. I already love you, <laughs> child. Yeah, I love you, too. Oh. <laughs> Lori went evil. Lori doesn't. Well, I mean, Don, you have read my book, right? Yeah. You got to keep them separate. Got to keep them separated unless you get the puppies. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Everybody who was watching, I'm so glad you tuned in. This was an extra special edition, like I said, because um, I'm not normally live except for on Tuesdays. But I made a special exception to come out today. I made time for Miss Sandy. And you can all see why from this uh, beautiful, talented young lady who is going places. And I cannot wait to see where you go uh, we uh, collectively will be following you and clicking all those links and watching all your good stuff and listening to your music and following your puppets because um it's it's awesome it's good clean fun and we need more of it in this world right i'd like to know making her wait a few years ago. <laughs> oh those are scary movies dude Jeff, it's not fair. I want to watch it so much, and he won't let me. You like scary movies? No. He just told me I can't watch it. Then he won't like it because it's scary. I got, I got to plug one of our other shows. Jeff, we have a show called The Horror Movie Club, and we covered this just a, a couple weeks the ago. Fire movies. 
it's one of the playlists on on the Madness Network channel. So you can go look. We 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 are horror fans. We we're fans of everything, man. We just have fun around here, bro. So uh, if you yeah, like it, go check time. it out. You'll dig that show. I think that one got chopped up too, Lori. Come think Did of it. it. <laughs> We're mi- uh, I don't know if you know what a Roku, ch- do you know what Roku is, Sandy? Yes. Yeah, you know. Okay. So we're working on a Roku channel because um, shows like the Horror Club show, they show movies that are on public domain. So people can watch them for free. But when they show them on the live, like YouTube will block it for some reason. So it's just really silly. So instead of watching like just the show, trailers. they get blacked out. We'll just be talking about the trailer and playing the trailer yeah. and, and they'll like black out five minutes of the show. And it's like, we're not trying to make any money. We're not monetized in any way. You guys are getting all the ad revenue. Why are you messing with us? Why are you chopping our shows up? Facebook does the same thing with our audio. Mm-hmm. That's not show. No, but that's um, that's why Roku is awesome. It's kind of like the last one that you they don't touch. Like the no one else can make copyright claims on your stuff, and nobody can. Oh, you know what I mean? So it's it's great um, to have that platform. So yeah, we're just this we're show will be on here. that platform too. Yeah. Hooray! I, so I everybody have a question for that horror thing you were just talking about. What where about it? I, where can I? No, see you're it? not old enough. No. Oh come on! No, <laughs> I'm teasing oh. you. That's up to your oh, folks. If you want to watch the horror movie show, you got to ask your folks. You're 15, dude. Awesome. Jeff says, Sandy, he says, you met, the art, you met Art the Clown and the whole cast at the Days of the Dead convention. Yeah. He told me all about it. All about these things. And I never get all of You met all the people, but you haven't seen the movie? That's terrible. Jeff is just, that's so funny. He's laughing. Time. And and yeah, Vic is right. Especially the audio on the lunch hour. They just take half of it away. <laughs> That's because y'all are never mind. Go watch the short. See how many times you got censored, Vic. Are, do, do you have questions? Sandy, Sandy. You're good. You're good. Do you have questions? Huh? A Sandy? lot. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I, I can show you. I can show you. Hold on. I have to find it. Are you gonna play it? Where are they? I got so much stuff in so many places, it's ridiculous. Um, where did I put them? <laughs> Hold on, just, he'll, he'll play a video. Jeff can want to mention Terrifier and derailed <laughs> this whole thing. Yeah, it happens. That's okay. That's okay. That happens to us a lot. Um, <laughs> I can't find them, Lori. What? Man. Are you not in the right studio? I, no, I'm not in the right studio. I guess I'll just change studios. Here, we'll go to Tuesday. They're yeah. all in Tuesday. There you go. Okay, so we Lori made some beautiful shorts for us to depict the kind of hassles that we go to go through as far as pod, you know, doing podcasts on YouTube and, and live and, streams and all of that, where we just continually so, get copyrighted and censored. So sit back for nothing. And for nothing. Okay, well, who's this other guy? Gotta introduce what? this other guy now. Who? Rick. Oh. Rick? <laughs> you know what's funny about Rick? Rick is <laughs> almost as much as Carissa, but he only <laughs> Carissa's lunch party. <laughs> you gotta get <laughs> to actually. <laughs> 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 No, so no, that's the mild version. Yeah, Christie's is way worse. I wasn't even talking anything bad. I was just proving a point. You know what I mean? Like in sense or anything you said. Like I was like, Rick is never on my show unless Carissa's on my show. That's basically what I said. So it wasn't like I was swearing or anything. But it just <laughs> sounds funny when you censor out words. So basically, okay. when Facebook oh, takes sorry. away, when when Facebook takes away five minutes of the audio on our show. We go, uh, you know, we we have to go somewhere else so people can actually hear what we're saying. Do you, oh. Does that ever happen to you on your live streams with 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 Jeff? Like, do they on ever Facebook, censor any of it? Ever, like, I'm just curious. Somebody try to claim the scammers will come around and try to claim your content. 
This I guess I'm not popular enough for people who try to claim my. No, that's yet. not true. You're probably you're probably probably pretty popular, but who's the Facebook? And maybe you're not running the Facebook. You know what I mean? Oh, they get their streams are on Facebook. They just ain't. It's it's no. Like I mean, this. like her personally. Like, is it her dad that's running it, etc.? Oh no, I, I run that. You run it, okay? Then you would see them, so you're fine. Uh, eventually, they'll just start hitting you with, um, you yeah. know, a, a claim to some of the audio, and you'll have yeah, to like, challenge it. And it's it's dumb. It's dumb. It's it's when you do weird. see it, it's easy to fix. You just contest it because a lot of times they're like, you used four minutes and 58 seconds of someone else's audio. And you're like, no, I didn't. I was playing my guitar, right? <laughs> oh, that's so weird. I, that's yeah, it'll really happen. Odd. Lori, you did. You really did a good job on the one that Vic is in. You really did. Yeah. It's in the studio. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we don't have to play it. I know that one's loud. <laughs> I did it on purpose so it was super annoying because it's yeah. meant to be annoying. She she looks like she wants to see it. Look, she's like, I what? Do. I what? Know what you're talking about. <laughs> Everybody, turn their audio slightly lower. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit for this. Yeah. This is right, our friend go. Christy. Like her store bikini and wash. Look at all that green. Oh. It looks like. Oh. You were this close to me. <laughs> yeah. Good. Because I'm a master of that sh They get up to shenanigans in that show. Vic, Vic, you shenanigans. I call shenanigans on you every day. <laughs> that's that's Christy Shin. That's one of the shows in the network. I mean, we got like 30-something shows that we do weekly on this network, right? So um, I'm, I'm going to do the same thing to you. I do any, but to everybody else, if you guys want to bring your content to the Roku, when we oh, put yeah. the platform up, you are more than welcome. Roku with me, Sandy. Okay. We can be neighbors. I don't know very much about this. So, um, but basic, I appreciate it, it. It's really simple. You, you're doing a show now. We just upload it to the Roku platform and play it on our network. And you might even get some ad revenue from that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's I mean, thing. it's... It's not like a million dollars or anything, but you know. <laughs> that means that um, every time they play an ad, you get a percentage of the funds from the, the money they make. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I'm very new. <laughs> I mean, just like you saw us play ads at the beginning of our show, right? Oh, okay. I get it. I understand. Sponsors, what you're saying. Okay. You know, stuff yeah. like same thing. You know, sponsors pay. You know, to have their stuff shown. And um, with the Roku, we have a little bit more control. We can even make it so that you as a showrunner, like Lori can pick the ads that she wants to play before her show. Oh, yeah. okay. As well yeah. as have her own in-show sponsors and play ads of her own for her own sponsors that don't have nothing to do with me and the Roku channel, right? So what opportunity to, to make a little bit of money and get paid a little bit for your content, which is what we all should be able to do is get paid for our content. You know, um, YouTube doesn't necessarily do that. They like to demonetize people and they don't pay very much in the first place, considering what they get paid to run the ads on their platform. It's, it's an option. You can think about it, but again, yeah. we're not trying to peer it's pressure just you. Fun stuff that we're doing. Video. Don't worry about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, well, I'll it, obviously. Uh, we basically just want to hang out with you because you're a lot of fun and you're very talented. You're more than welcome. Along the show. Yeah, we're What's just that? along the show. <laughs> <laughs> we like you. We want to hang out we like longer. You. So we we're just want to hang out with you because <laughs> you're fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I did. I look, I really, really have enjoyed this show. 
you yeah i enjoyed it very much and i hope everybody that was watching had a good time i'm sure they did um we had a blast girl we had a blast and i would love to have you back don't listen to this guy don't listen <laughs> she knows all about the souls at 11 bro yeah souls at 11 you're right you're in the wrong place <laughs> <laughs> we totally sincerely enjoyed having you out and look forward to at least two more, two more appearances in the near future one with Jeff and one with a guest to be announced yeah yeah I'm trying to know you want to yeah. know you really want to know no I told her no I told her she has to come back to find out Shh. no spoilers well, she's, seen, she's seen the thing at the beginning what thing at the beginning Nothing. There's nothing. He's talking about nothing. I had to kick him off because he was going to tell you. And I don't want him to tell you. <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll don't. <laughs> there you go. On the Three Facebook. Song, first the link yes. Dude, I want to watch that. Yet. You should check it out. There, there. So there Souls at 11. Souls at 11 on Facebook. You can watch there it. There it is. Of those. Souls on 11. Souls on, on 11. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whoops. Souls on 11. You can watch three song first performance. And dude, look, if, if you don't know who Jeff Young is. <laughs> well, have you been living under a rock? <laughs> yeah. I actually had a. Freaking fanboy moment. And I don't usually do that with rockers because I worked at Z Rock way back in the day. You know, Ooh, and it's like I've had met a whole bunch of people. Moments. Don't lie. When I did uh, have a fanboy Mar moment right there. Mar Jean Ooh. came on, you were like, hi. I was like, that's <laughs> different. She's an actress. That's different. Rock and roll guys. I hung out with a bunch of them. Mar, that was like, Mar Jean <laughs> came on and like all the guys showed up. Mar Jean. <laughs> Margine Holden is Margie a Holden. actress. Um, is an she actress was in John played... Carpenter's Vampires. She was in she... John Carpenter's Vampires. She was in Mortal Kombat. Mm -hmm. uh, she's been in a bunch of TV shows. Mm -hmm. um, super nice lady. Marco and I met her. Marco is the artist who draws my comic book. He and I were tabling at a con in Fort Worth and met Margine. And she's super nice. And like her daughter was really interested in our comic. And so we, you know, like we talked a bunch, blah, blah. So I, I asked her if she wanted to come on my show, and she did. And, like, all the men folk were like, <laughs> hi, Margine. And I was like, I'm going to boot you off this show. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, we had her on a few of the shows. We had, um, yeah, she's after great. Lori brought her in, she went on the Horror Movie Club with Brian, and we actually covered John Carpenter's Vampires That's and so had cool. the, the head lady vampire on the show with us. It was so cool. And then I told Ben and Jeff about her, and she went and she was on Ben and Jeff's show after that. Ben and Jeff and I kind of throw guests back and forth at each other. He's got somebody on that I want. Hey, man, you got to put me in touch with that person. Like what happened with you? Okay. Yeah. I was I like, you. I would love I would love for her to come on my show. I'm like, but I'm booked out till October. And Pops was like, we'll make it happen. I was like, okay, we'll make it happen. <laughs> I, was, I couldn't wait till October. I didn't want to wait till October <laughs> either, but I was like, what do I do? <laughs> what other day are you free? I'm like, I don't know, Saturday. No, yeah, that works better for me. Yeah, Weekends are great. Yeah. Well, yeah, I knew I couldn't get you out here at eleven o'clock on a Tuesday morning. You kind yeah. of skip school for You're that. Sorry. Cool. <laughs> like, right. You know. Yeah. Why well, you mention school? Or that was at night. <laughs> I I don't got that kind of pull. I just I don't got that kind of pull to get you out of school. What can I say? <laughs> Yeah, no, we shouldn't do that. School's important. <laughs> someday, someday, parents will be like, yeah, hell, you can go be on Pop Show. No, <laughs> no, come on, Lori's show. Lori is, uh, Lori's the place you want to come. Wherever you want me, I'm there. That's right. Oh, you, 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 you got two more Lori's before you go anywhere else. Remember that. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with it. Um, I'll let you two, I will let you two coordinate when the next one is, okay? Or you three, if Jeff is going to be there, or you three sure. for that other person, you know, I'll let you guys coordinate it. You just let me know. I'll set show up, promote it, all that stuff, like I always do. I'm going to get yeah, out this the Yeah, this is what happens. I'm sure this happens <laughs> everywhere you go. They're like, we're fighting over you. Yes, yes, we are. 
like, and, no, this is the first. <laughs> and right now, I'm going to concede, get out the way, Lori wins. She gets you two more, two more. <laughs> now I'm going to fight people, so just whatever. They don't want to fight well, me. Oh <laughs> I feel so special. Yeah. Sandy is very much a sweetheart. Yes. Do you think this is an act? Good Lord. <laughs> um, wow. Um, thank you. I think, I think. When they got me, I'm stuck. It's an endless cycle of nicknames. No, that's just you, Vic. Okay. Dude, it's just you. He has like 17 nicknames because he's, because he's Vic. Tadpole. <laughs> I think the other name, what's the other one? Meatball? Me Sorry. Meatball. You won't get that. Oh, well, thank you for that. You're welcome. You I'm, won't get I'm that. Honored. <laughs> well, peoples, it has been an hour and a half. And um, we will definitely be doing a part two and probably a part three um, of more Sandy and Jeff and a special guest. So um, I'm going to wrap it up here just to make sure that everybody comes back for next time so we can do it all again. Um <laughs> So we will coordinate that for sure, and uh, we'll plan it out. Sandy is a genius and a great performer. Oh, look. Pete Swenson says, Sandy is a genius and a great performer. I met her in person. Thanks, Sandy. So thanks, Pete. Pete That's is nice. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. He's, he's a great guy. Well, then, thanks for joining us, Pete. All right, guys. Um Oh, what is it? Uh, everybody keeps commenting, so we can't go yet. Sorry. Um, yes, this is how she is all the time. Naturally groovy and sweet. So you call me groovy. Yes. That's so sweet. Yes. Groovy. <laughs> groovy. <laughs> Nick says, peace, peace out. Thank you, everybody in the chat, everybody for tuning in on this special edition Saturday for this awesome show. And um, we will catch you on the flip side. I don't know what Thank commercials you. you want me to play here, Pops. Entertainment Group presents the Madness Comic Network with original programming and additional comic-related content. The Civil War was America's bloodiest conflict. Over half a million died to preserve national unity. When the war ended, Confederates like Harley Brogdon headed west, shooting games in the army and gambling. When a card game turns deadly, Harley shoots in self-defense, killing the card sharp who threw down first. Wilfred Knorr, the card sharp's wealthy father, will stop at nothing to see Harley hang. Harley flees to Cobb's Gap, 
an old silver mining town at the foot of the Rockies. A remarkably peaceful town, especially after dark. But the sheriff harbors a dark secret, and no one dares go into the mines anymore. Cobb's Gap is full of secrets. People speak in hushed tones of something in the mine. Something worse than their cursed sheriff. Something even the Indians fear from the deepest pits of hell. Every secret will be exposed. Bronze Star. Order your copy at bronzestarcomic.com. Comic Books for Kids provides comic books to kids in hospitals and cancer centers across the U.S. It's a place where we can all work together to make sure every child has a comic book. 100% of all proceeds go towards the kids. It's about making a difference, and while they're in the hospital, allowing them to fly like a superhero, battle dragons, or rescue teddy bears. We are in every state in the country and now support over 160 hospitals. Every month, we add more. Visit cb4k.org.